So people, we are finally back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about all the confirmed done deals at Arsenal. We're going to be going through all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is that 6? I think 5 done deals that we have finally done which includes 3 incomings and 2 outcomings. At the time of recording, this is what, um, this is the business we have officially done and let's get straight into it. So the first one is Nuno Tavares, Nuno Tavares, Nuno Tavares, which is what we're going to call him. He's already made his debut for Arsenal, scored on his debut versus Rangers, and he signed for Arsenal in a deal worth up to £8 million, with £5 million as an upfront fee and £8 million in easy add-ons. It's not going to get any higher than £8 million, and that's who he signed from Benfica, um, the under-21 Portuguese international uh, from Benfica. We signed him. And um, I think he's a pretty decent signing. Look, we needed some cover for that um, left-back role um, because, obviously, Tini does get injured quite a lot and uh, Kalazanac just isn't good enough and he's expected to leave the club with one year left on his remaining contract. Um, so we definitely needed a player to cover in his position um, and we did sign Nuno Tavares and I do think he's a good signing. Look, you know, we saw in the Rangers game that he can do a lot of what Tini can do, like overlapping runs. Um, you know, get forward quite a lot, put in them crosses, um, get the old goal here and there. And, you know, we need to see more of a defensive attributes. But, you know, hopefully we do see that with Nun Tavares as well. And let's just hope for the best. And that is Nun Tavares as he signed for Arsenal. Now, the next one is Aubert Sambi Lokonga. Um, as of time of recording, he's just signed for Arsenal. Um, and that's, again, a big signing for Arsenal because I think we need a lot of depth in that midfield area. It's been a very weak area for us. And... Someone like Lokonga, I, I, I released a video on him a few days ago, um, reacting to his um, you know, skills and his attributes. And I think he has a lot about him, Albert Sambi Lokonga. I've talked about him a lot over the last few weeks. And I do think Lokonga's one that would add a lot to our midfield. And I and you know, I just hope that he can hit the ground running. Whether he'll start a lot of games for Arsenal is just another question. I don't think he would, but again, only time will tell whether he will start a lot for Arsenal or not. Um, but again, Lokonga, we signed him for 17.5 million euros as an upfront cost with a few million pounds in easy add-ons. Um, we signed him on a long-term contract um, from Anderlecht, a Vincent company's Anderlecht. Um, and those good relations between our sector and company has helped negotiations, of course. It has. And um, yeah, Lokonga, I'm very happy to see him sign for Arsenal because as I said, you know, look, he's going to provide depth. And hopefully in the near future, he could provide a um, partner to Thomas Partey. Especially if you don't sign a player like Yuzu Basuma, he can be that Yuzu Basuma S player that can partner Thomas Partey. And let's just hope he can adapt fit physically to the league very quickly because if he can, then he can start games very quickly for Arsenal. And that is what we need from someone like Alba Samuel Konga. So let's hope we do get that very quickly from him. And I'm very happy for his signing. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below about um, Albert Samuel Konga. The next one is Ben White. Now, as a speaking he has not officially been announced as arsenal player but he is going to sign for arsenal this one is basically a done deal um he is going to sign for arsenal for 50 million pounds oh my goodness me 50 million pounds for ben white again another player who i have talked about quite non-stop if i honest if i'm honest i've talked about ben white quite a lot and i think with ben white i think the interesting thing about ben white is that um yeah the, look he's a good player i'm not saying he is a bad player i think he's a pretty decent player ben white but 50 million pounds for me is quite excessive um from what i know from what i've heard of, from people leeds fans um brighton fans um that he does look like a very good player and a very good center back in the making and look we do need a ball playing center back with saliba gone with david Luiz gone we do definitely need um that sort of player and ben white will provide that for us and hopefully he can partner gabriel or marie and he can help us move forward quite a lot and again that's something we need to see from our players um just a defensive reassurance to be honest and let's hope we'll get that from someone like ben white and look i'm very happy for the signing i just hope he does really well because he has a big price tag over his shoulders and if he doesn't fulfill that price tag then yeah he's gonna get slaughtered it goes either way he does really well or he does really badly because he's got such a high price tag let's just hope it doesn't affect him too much and we can move forward um but yeah ben white will sign for Arsenal. It's not been done, but it's a confirmed done deal agreement. Everything is done in place for Ben White to join Arsenal. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below about Ben White. Do you think it's a good signing? 
do you think it's a bad signing? But yeah, on that note, guys, make sure you do subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications as well. We're on the road. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Let's try and hit that by maybe the end of the summer, maybe by the end of the year. I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just try and get the best we can out of this channel. And yeah, make sure you share the content around Facebook, Twitter, on your YouTubes and everything as well. So let's move on to the two confirmed outgoings we've had. Um, so the first one is of Matteo Guendouzi. We sent him out loan to Marseille. Both of Saliba and Guendouzi were sent out to Marseille, funnily enough. And let's just quickly on Marseille. They're doing a lot of good business. They've signed um, Guendouzi. They've signed Saliba. They've signed um, um, Paulo Lopez. They've already signed um, Cengiz Unda. I think they signed one or two other players as well. They're signing a lot of players. Um, uh, Marseille also linked with Diego Costa, for flip's sake. So, yeah, very interesting what they're doing. But Matteo Guendouzi was one of those signings. Um, I would have liked if he stayed for Arsenal a bit longer. I do think I do see a lot of potential in someone like Matteo Guendouzi, and I really do do hope that he can, you know, you know, make a good impression. But I think it's an option to buy. We were all under the um, you know, that it's going to be an obligation, but it is an option. So there is a possibility he could come back to Arsenal next year if it doesn't work out for him. But I really hope it does because you know I see a lot of potential in this kid, and and if he can be. And if he can be coached well under under that um, Marseille manager, whoever it is, and, you know, if he can get the best out of his disciplinary issues and just unlock that talent within him, there's a big player there. And um, Arteta's not been able to do that, so let's hope this manager, whoever is there, can do that with someone like Guendouzi. Because he is a top, I think he is a top, top talent, and he's a, you know, in a few years, he could be he could be up there, in my opinion, Matteo Guendouzi, and one of the best midfielders, one of the best midfielders around, and he already is. Um, so... Let's just get on with it. Next one is William Saliba. Already touched on him. Um, not got him in a Marseille yet for some reason. Have him in um Nice, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but he's also joined Marseille, and again, William Saliba. It's only a straight loan. There's no option obligation, and uh, William Saliba is going to join Marseille for the year. His third loan. First went on loan back to Saint Etienne, then went to um Nice halfway through last season, and now he's going to join Marseille for another season. <laughs> What are we doing with Saliba? My God. Imagine loaning out a 30 million ball playing centre back for three years and then spending 50 million to get the English equivalent. Sounds a lot like Arsenal, doesn't it? But yeah, it's quite interesting. I, I do see so much in Saliba. Let's just hope and pray that Arteta is gone by this time next year so Saliba can get a chance because under this manager, I don't know what's gone on, but he ain't going to get a chance. Let's be real here. And um, that's just the harsh reality of it and you can't really do much more about it. And yeah, that that's just that's what it is. And yeah, that is it for all the confirmed um, players and incomings and outgoings. There will hopefully be more in terms of the outgoings. Xhaka could be going, the likes of Bellerin could be going. The incomings, we could be seeing Awa, maybe Onana, maybe Madison. We'll just have to see what happens. But confirmed, um, three ingoings and two outgoings. And uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below about all these things. What should we do next? What direction should we go in? Are you happy with the window so far? Are you not Leave all those thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.